In February, a suspected Chinese spy balloon flew over the United States before being shot down by an F-22 U.S. warplane off the coast of South Carolina. The U.S. Navy recovered the debris from a 200-foot-tall vessel to examine its capabilities and the potential intelligence it gathered along its journey at 65,000 feet. So what kind of information could this spy balloon have collected? Let's start by looking at the path it took. Well, we know that it started, it entered the United States at the Aleutian Islands, and then it flew over parts of Alaska, re-entered the United States at Idaho, but went over Montana, where Malmstrom Air Force Base is, and other sites that have nuclear missile silos. We can surmise from other sightings of it over Kansas that it probably went over Nebraska as well, where Strategic Air Command is. So it probably went over nuclear missile sites as well as command and control. These sites are sensitive for a reason, right? I mean, they're the um, most strategic assets that the military has. They have nuclear weapons that could destroy the world. So they need to be have the utmost security. And if you have a foreign adversary looking at them, presumably they're picking up some information from that. They would certainly have had high resolution cameras on it to take still photos, but they probably had full motion video as well. Um, they may have also had devices that would have picked up on communications. The balloon itself was 200 feet tall and the payload that carried the surveillance gear was the size of a regional jet airliner and it weighed thousands of pounds. So if you're dropping that, shooting it down and it drops from 60,000 feet, it's going to hit something. And the other factor was that we spied on the spy we picked up on its capabilities because it was over the United States and we were able to monitor it and see what it was doing. So we learned just as much as the Chinese um, in uh, examining what was going on with their balloon. Hey, thanks for watching. If you like this video, check out these other videos from USA Today to stay up to date with all the latest news.